There you are. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Pal Plays Okami. Last episode, we start out the story by meeting Amaterasu, who is Shiranui Reborn. We also got two new brush techniques. We got Rejuvenation, which will allow us to rejuvenate anything that is missing. So if, there, if that bridge, say, were broken, we could fix it by just drawing on it a little bit, like so. And that was pretty. Also, we got Power Slash, which will, which will allow us to cut anything. Not quite anything, but a, close to it. In fact, we just cut that rock accidentally, and we got a gourd from the rock. Uh, it's actually a good idea to cut this grass here, because sometimes the grass, and I accidentally cut the tree, sometimes the grass can drop fruit or vegetables, which is a good thing, since now that we have the astral pouch, we can make use of that. Also, if there are multiple pots at once, we can do what Link does. We can make Link jealous by cutting multiple pots at once. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, last episode we ended in a battle, and because the episode was kind of drawing to a close, it was because it was really, really long. I apologize for how long last episode was. I didn't think it would get to be that time, which is funny because I had said that I was I knew my goals for the episode, and so it wasn't going to go over time. But apparently, my goals were a little bit too uh, stretched out than I anticipated. So anyway, I. I wasn't able to explain all the th everything I could about the game's mechanics, mainly the uh, the battle system. And one thing I missed, a couple things I missed, well first of all, I said that the enemies we were fighting were green imps, but actually the game does not specify that. I mean, it is a small error because they are imps and they are green, but they're actually just called imps, and also we got grapes, yummy, from a rock, which is interesting strange kind of grape. Uh, another another thing I failed to mention is what the, um, at the end of a battle, you you would see like a results screen where it said how much money you got from, from participating in the battle. But there were two other things. There was a box that said damage and a box that said time. And I didn't s explain what that was, so I think I shall do that now. We're going to get in a battle right here, so I will show that off. But basically what it is, is there are, I think, four or five ratings. I'll put on screen how many there are. And um, depending on what they are, the rating is judged on um, how well you do in time and da and how much damage you take. So there are a bunch of ratings that that can do. I will show it off because there's a battle right here. Maybe. Yep, there it is. Okay. I will go ahead and fight these imps and I will show you. Start off with a power slash, or not. Wait, there we go. Do that, cut him, and I got a Chinese cabbage. Okay. And I got a Gis Ginsang, okay. Uh, this battle's really being interrupted by a bunch of stuff. And I got another cabbage. Uh, ow, I took damage, okay. Well, I guess I can show off something. Let me go and power slash him for his floral finisher. Get another demon fang. And you'll see uh, Spirit Glow, basically heart. I'm explaining a lot of things in a short time. Okay, you'll see for time I got a pink cherry tree, and for damage I got a green tree. And that is basically there are, I believe, yeah, five levels that you can, five rankings that you can get. There is the best one, which is the pink cherry blossom tree, which is what I got for time. And then the next one below that is a green cherry tree with no blossoms. Then after that, it's a shriveled up tree, so it's just the branches, no leaves at all. And then next is a tree sprout. And then finally, I believe the, the worst ranking you can get is just a seed. So those rankings d um, can affect how much money you get from a battle. Also something I failed to explain was Demon Fangs. I said that you can get them, but I never said what you can use them for. Uh, there are certain shops in Okami that will not take normal yen. They will take Demon Fangs. Now you might think, well, why not just go to a different shop? Well, actually, uh, the shops specialize in different things. So one that, ha um, one that has Demon Fangs as a currency may not ha uh, will have things that other shops don't have items, consumables, stuff like that. 
So, it's a good idea to get as many demon fangs you can get as you can. There are certain rewards later in the game for getting more and more demon fangs, but suffice it to say you want to get them. Just, just trust me on it, you'll see some of the rewards you can get for getting them further on in this LP. So, let's go ahead and get some other... Oh, okay. Oh, it's back. Okay. There's a pot back here that I missed, and I want all the yen I can. Now, a couple... If there are any eagle-eyed viewers out there, you'll... Also, this came back. Interesting. I guess you can farm for infinite money right here. Um, a couple of eagle-eyed viewers probably noticed how my count, my yen count is different than it was last episode. At least, I believe it was. It probably is. And that is because I was not able to save in between episodes without going through the battle that we just participated in. So I actually had to restart the game from scratch and go through it again. Which is actually fairly easy because once you complete the game, you're able to skip all cutscenes and dialogue. Yes, all. So you probably saw the skip thing in the upper right hand corner. So I just did that. Alright, so let's continue on and we're just backtracking so it's not anything new. Now, another thing I should take note of, um, I, I did not skip out that that loading screen, and that's because I need to talk about that. In the PS2 version of this game, the title screen is actually a minigame of sorts. This is going along with what I was talking about with Demon Fangs. And you see that the pause would appear. In the PS2 version, if you pressed A with... Right, uh, with good timing, every time a paw appeared, you would get demon fangs from it. So that was another way to get demon fangs. In this game, also camera. I can't do the camera. Camera. There we go. Uh, in, thi in this game, in this version of the game, it does not have that. So getting demon fangs is a little bit harder. So let's go ahead and just continue to backtrack. I do want to grab as much yen as I can because there is a shop coming up soon that I want to, uh, of course, I would want to buy stuff. That would be horrible if I was doing a no-item run. Alright, let's continue on. And... Let's go ahead and hit these pots. I really want all the yen I can get, because... Getting, um, getting money early really sets you up for good things later. If you're always, always thorough in your search for money, you will get good, good things. Okay, let's go ahead and cut these pots. And... Let me jump down. These pots have respawned. I know I'm showing backtracking. Oh, that's a cute picture. Aw. I know I'm showing backtracking, but I just feel like it's important. I don't want to cut this early in the game. It just feels wrong to me. Alright, let's go ahead and do this, and cut these, and... There. And let me grab that carrot, why not? Alright, let's continue on. Actually, no, that wasn't a carrot, that was a gesang, which I have no idea what that means. Alright, now, this is another thing I want to show. All of this grass, you might think that this is just scenery, right? Actually, yes and no. This scenery is actually extremely useful. Um, I've been showing off Power Slash a lot, and I want to show it off again, because if you cut this grass, you can get good things. You can get a lot, a lot of food. I actually didn't cut all the grass that there was, and I still got, like, four, three three or four things of food and that's actually very very useful you can see there I got and camera I got a lot of food from that my uh, my astral pouch is up to 45 units of food which is really nice okay I'm gonna stop doing that now that I've showed that off it's not really worth you guys seeing me do that now now that we're out of here we can't leave still and he will say the same exact thing because the, now the game, it doesn't want us to go back in there, it wants us to use our newfound power slash technique, and it wants us to cut the peach. Or fail. Oh, something I also need to go into. <laughs> A lot of things that I forgot about power slash. And that is, when you use your brush, when you hold B and use your brush, you can press A and you can basically, you use a free hand. You go free hand. And that's all fine and dandy, but when you need to draw straight lines, sometimes it's not easy, not quite that useful. That's why there are two methods of drawing. There is A, 
but there is also if you press Z and move in a direction you'll do a straight line so it, it's actually easier to do power slashes with Z so like that well yeah so yeah that's what you want to do okay let's let me use Z for this and cut down the fruit and restore the village now if this game already hasn't convinced you that was a strangely worded but if it already hasn't convinced you of how different this game is with its graphics and art style I think this will you'll see what I mean Wow, the village has been restored. Sakuya came through big time. She really was protecting the village. But I sure wish I could have spent more time in her kimono. If you know what I mean. Ah, uh, Isun. <laughs> but seriously, with monsters running, running around and all, the village could still be in danger. Let's go see how they're all doing down there. Uh... Isun is pretty much the reason why this game is rated teen, if you haven't t been able to tell already. Now, I'm not going to straight up ignore some of the things that he says, but I'm not going to, uh, to elaborate on them, I guess, because, you know, this ga this channel is a gutter speak free channel. However, there I will be playing games that aren't gutter speak free themselves. My commentary may be clean, but the game won't be. But, I won't be completely ignoring it. I'm not saying that I'm not trying to make excuses for commentary or anything. I'm just not going to act as if it didn't happen. Because I want those of you who want to play through this game, but want to know what parts you shouldn't... You know, if, if you guys are are like me, where you're sticklers for, clean, for cleanliness, I guess you could say, in video games, I want you guys to know where you should what you should skip or what you should not pay attention to by paying attention to it that way it doesn't t catch you su by surprise so you guys get an honest look of, at the game so I've been ignoring this statue for a while so let me examine it what in the world I don't remember there being a statue here well whatever let's go talk to the villagers alright that was strange strange place to put a garden gnome now you can see that the trees here are not quite back to normal. So this village is still in need of some TLC. So there are more statues. Hey, there's a statue here too. It's like the villagers have turned to stone or something. Not again. That's not one of those smaller monsters that's lurking around. A roar, a roar like that has got to belong to something much bigger. Let's hurry up and find somebody with a pulse around here. Okay, well, there is someone over here. I'm just bypassing that one just because this one's over here. And this one looks interesting. No good. This one's not moving. Everyone around here is perfectly fine just a few hours ago. There's definitely something strange going on around here. The village is back, but what's up with this dark sky? Maybe it's too dark outside the village, too. Let's go find some high ground so we can take a look. Okay. This tree's shriveled as well. Let's let's go over here, just because I want to see what's over here. There's a house with, like, a pen around it. Okay. Well, I guess we should take his advice and go to a high ground. Go to high ground. I guess we just have to backtrack again. And no, I'm not cutting this out either. Let's go. Running. If you couldn't already tell, Amaterasu's really, really fast. Like, look at her. She's flying. In case I didn't... It wasn't obvious, you have to go up here. This is the way you have to go. Alright. This seems to be the highest place of the village. Yes, we are on high ground, Isun. This is bad. 
The sun's not even shining. It's as black as night as far as the eye can see. And not a single villager can move a muscle. Is it some kind of curse? Did a monster do this? It's not like it's not going to stay like this forever, is it? If only the sun were out to light our way. If you could draw a circle in the sky, we'd have ourselves a sun. But I guess that'd be impossible, even for a god like you. Maybe we better seek out another brush god for help. Of course, if you had that power from the start, that'd be a different story. Hmm. Well, I guess we should give drawing a circle a shot. That was a horrible circle, but I'm glad the game, the game recognized it. Well, what the? Hmm. Come to think of it, your name is Amaterasu. That's the name of the sun god. So it'd follow that you had the sunrise technique from the start. With it, you could even turn night into day. Wow, you're no run-of-the-mill god, that's for sure. The flowing brush is like music from the heavens. That's a line from one of my grandfather's poems. He felt a skilled artist was like a musician of shape and color. Since you're such a great artist yourself, why don't we name your brush brushwork after that poem of his? It's called Celestial Brush. After all, your brush did bring out the sun. Well, Ami, let's get back to the village. We gotta see if the villagers are back to normal now. Not before we meet one of my favorite characters in this game. Also, you can really see how big Ami is here. We haven't really been able to see much of a comparison because, you know, Saki is pretty tall. Like, she's probably like six feet from, from my reckoning. But Amaterasu is really, a really, really big wolf. Hmm? Who are you? Village Elder, Mr. Orange, and his eyelashes are four inches long. Uh, I don't think he's ever heard of scissors. A white wolf? I need to find a voice for this guy. Not the one who brought the te that terrible creature with Nagi, or fought that terrible creature with Nagi. You couldn't possibly be the legendary Shiranui. No, it can't be. That story is 100 years old. Still, you look a lot like that statue of Shiranui. On the other hand, you don't look quite as smart. Well, thanks! I don't think that he and Ami are going to get along. Whoa, whoa! No need to growl like that. Can you really understand what I'm saying? Yeah, we are smart. Well, I'm not one to mince words. I just state the facts. How can he even see us with those eyelashes? This is a legit question. His eyelashes are so long that he probably can't even see. Hmm? What's this sudden chill down my spine? Here they come, Furball. Those are the monsters that we that have been plaguing these lands. They sneak into villages and cause all sorts of trouble. Step aside, Furball. This is a job for my trusty sword, Denkumaru. Well, Amaterasu saved Mr. Orange's life and also got some of her sweet little revenge right there. She got to throw him and save his life in the same time. Now, this battle isn't any different from one we faced previously. This is just the, fa the fact that there are three imps here. So, let's go ahead and line them up. Like so. Let's see if I can hit that one all the way back there. And, uh, no I didn't. Let's jump. Do this. Cut him. And, I want to hit two at once. Because I don't have that much ink left. Uh, these will do. There we go. And Floral finish them. And get their demon fangs. Also their treasure. And I'll hit this one. And camera. And this. I feel like the camera is going to be a running theme with this LP. It's sad but true. And ba sort of good on time but great on damage. Because we didn't get hit. And 
and there you go. Wow, you really get aggressive when you're mad, don't ya? Hey, you got yourself some praise. And look, see how that dried up spring began flowing again? That's because ridding an area of monsters restores the god's power to the land. People call it divine intervention. The more you restore land to its natural beauty, the more praise you get. It's the source of your power. Few people believe in gods these days, and that may weaken you, but if you try real hard, your true power just might shine through. But boy, there's sure been a lot of monsters around here lately. And that Mr. Orange you <laughs> tossed around on the, s the sacred deck. Looks like he thinks you're a regular wolf. Seems the gods have grown so weak that people can't see them anymore. Grumble mumble. Oh, uh, anyway, I'll show you around the village. I have a feeling we're in for an epic adventure. This should be fun, Furball. And that's where I should, that's my cue to talk about what the name of this game means, really, the name of the game. Okami. Okami, depending on how it's spelled, can mean either White Wolf or Great God, which is kind of, is a neat play on words because Ami is both. So, in essence, it, depending on how people view the name, it depends on how they would see Matarasu, whether a White Wolf or the sun goddess that she is. Why you little, little devil? Look at this sweet grub you found. Hey wait, this is animal food. We are an animal. Or Ami is. Still, we could, say, we could save it to give it to animals. Let's use it when we try to approach animals later. Something good might, ha might come out of using it the right way. I know gods aren't supposed to use creatures in this manner, but why not? Let's make an exception this time. Oh, I almost forgot. There's something I wanted to tell you. Whenever you, uh, whenever you want to check the items you've obtained, just press the plus button to open the fan menu. While the fan menu is open, you can check and use the items you have. There are other things you can do there too. The fan menu is your key to a successful adventure. So, yeah, basically if, those, if there's someone like Mr. Orange who doesn't believe in the gods, and again, this is mythology, I'm not trying to get you to believe this, and I don't really I don't believe in these gods myself but it's a it's a fictional work in a fictional land so I'm going to run with it so if there's someone like Mr. Orange who doesn't believe in the gods or goddesses or divine intervention then he would see someone like Ami as just a white wolf who might happen to be useful you know do good things however if someone I don't know like Isun uh, yeah, Isun. I'm not sure how he sees Ami, but I think he sees Ami as she is. Then Ami would see Amaterasu as who she is. So that's actually a really interesting concept. Also, praise. You pro you're probably, if this is a new thing for you, if this game is new to you, you're probably wondering what in the world it is. And it's the level up system in this game. I mentioned on the title screen of this game last episode how this was an RPG. And it is. You can level up, even though it's not like a turn-based strategy like Fire Emblem or Earthbound, although I love Earthbound. <coughs> cough, cough, another fuzzy pickler. Um, so you can use it to level up. And you know how I compared the battling system last episode to what I do here on YouTube? Well, this can be comparable as well, I guess you could say. Uh, praise would be con kind of, sort of like... Uh, Subscribers. Also, I pronounced that na uh, that word wrong. It's sort of like subscribers. The more videos I make, and thus the more people I reach, the more praise. I'm not saying I'm a g <laughs> I'm a god, though that'd be a funny message to take out of this. So the more praise I get, the more the more videos I'm able to make, and thus the more money I'm able to make because I perform better in battles. So I guess. You can say the parallels here are pretty strong. I, I like drawing parallels. Anyone who knows me in real life knows that I like, <laughs> I like comparing things in strange manners. Anyway, let's go ahead and press plus and open up the fan menu so I can show you this. All right, right here you have tools. You have a bunch of um, a bunch of categories here, but I'm gonna start on the first one, and that is our po pouch. You have tools, which has our feed bag, which is for seeds. So birds would eat seeds, and our Holy Bone S, which restores three units of solar energy, aka hearts. Also, we have equipment. 
and equipment is weapons and accessories. You can see on the right it has main, sub, holy artifacts. I will be going into that later. There's also some other stuff. I will be going into that much, much later. Well, not much later, but later. And so suffice it to say, there's a lot of room for equipment, so we are going to be getting a lot of weapons and accessories. And the accessories actually do stuff, so don't think that they're just like clothing. And let's see, also, I should go into here. You can see that this has Ami's face on it. And this is where you use your praise. You can see on the, on the top of the screen there's a bar. And on the left of that bar is a... Uh, I think it's a kanji? Is that the word for it? I need to read up on my, on my Japanese culture. But I believe that's called a kanji and that means praise, I'm fairly certain. And on the far right of the bar, it says 20. 20 is the total amount of praise that we have. Now you can see on the bottom, you have our solar units right here. And you have ink. And this is our astral pouch. And this is our purse. Yes, Ami's a girl, so she uses a purse. And I'm not trying to be sexist or anything. But, yeah, anyway. <laughs> just, just look by that. So, it says 50 on the top with our solar energy. If we had 50 praise, we could fill up this bar and thus get a new unit of solar energy. Unlike The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, you don't really get heart containers, and you can actually level stuff up just by doing side quests, which is really, really nice, because I like how they, they tie in side quests with the actual battle system, because it gives side quests a bigger meaning than just simple, simple 100%. They will make your your adventure easier by helping people, which is really cool. I really love this system. Also, we can upgrade our ink pots by spending 50 praise, and as soon as I get 50 praise, I will be upgrading ink pots since three is a little bit low, and I don't I'm not really interested in getting more health right now. Also, if you get 300 praise, you can upgrade the astral pouch and get a second one, so you can fill up two of them and thus have two lives. Also, you ha can upgrade the purse to make it bigger. As you can see, there are only five digits. Yes, only five. And while five may seem a lot, it will seem very small soon. Uh, we can upgrade our purse to add, I believe, another digit on there. So it'd be a six-figure number. And we can continue to upgrade these. So it's really nice. Now, huh, now that the tutorial's over, and you guys are probably a little bit more familiar as to why I said the gameplay of this is a, is a really good innovation. We have a stray bead to collect. You can see down there, there are two chests. There's one on the upper level of that, of the, uh, the great watchtower? Watch platform? Lookout. That's what it was called. And so what we need to do is we need to jump off. And if you mash B, you can kind of do a frame by frame. What you want to do is... Actually, no. Well, first of all, there's the... You know what, I'll get that in a second. I, re I really want to talk to this guy. Ah, Great Shirinui. Oh no, this is where he landed after we threw him. I just realized. What it... Oh, I know what he's... Oh, wow. Oh. I know... No, that can't be. I thought... I thought that maybe he was bowing before this area because maybe the statue was gone? But the statue's up there. So I don't, I don't know why he's saying Great Shir Shirinui. Okay, maybe he thinks that... Maybe he finally came to the conclusion that Ami Shirinui. Anyway, I'm sidetracking too much. Alright. Uh, let's see. I don't want to talk to this guy yet. I want to go up here. Now, if you jump here and you can kind of trick it out, it's really hard to do and it's really specific. But you can jump here and get up there. It's just kind of hard. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now we can hit this. And we can get a stray bead. You can also, or alternatively, you can get the stray bead by falling down uh, from the top there. And power slashing this. But it is much harder than simply jumping up here. Snap. Uh, let me jump up here. Uh, I, I want to get back up there because there's one more thing that we need to get. There we go. Okay. I want to power slash this. Or not. Power slash that. There we go. And... Whoa! Uh... Take two? Alright, now, if if a treasure falls out of the treasure chest, but you 
it takes you too long to grab it, it'll actually return to the treasure chest. That's a really, really good thought, and I'm re I really like that, especially in games like, uh, like say, if this was Twilight Princess, where you can't get a rupee and, you know, that kind of stuff, you could just leave it behind. So that's nice. You can see what it is, and if you can't hold it or you don't want it, you can save it till later by actually not collecting that. So that's really nice. Okay, let's go and cut that again. And... Ah! Uh, no! Yes! Yes! Finally, that wacky thing finally flew into me. So frustrating, and it took me so long. It actually only took me like three minutes. But I stalled for time so much there that it's actually turning to nighttime. And so, yes! Glass beads! Finally! Uh, the, that these beads show no cracks is a testament to the artist's skill. Now, these are not like stray beads. You can actually sell these, which is sort of like what I was talking about earlier about... Wait, did I say that? Well, I mentioned how shops can use, uh, ha use demon fangs as a currency, but you can actually sell these, so they're basically sort of like currency in solid form. Okay, now, there's a chest here that I saw that I want to get. If you mash the C button, you can dig. I want to get this. I didn't want to ignore it because I knew some one commenter would have yelled at me. Traveler's Charm. That is... So, that... And, uh, okay, I'm not going to go into the Traveler's Charm just yet. In fact, I really wish I hadn't seen this. Uh, because that's a mechanic that would take me too long... Well, it would take me sort of too long to explain... And I don't want to take the time to do it because this episode has gone on long enough. Yes, I'm sorry. We didn't get a whole ton of progress, but we got a lot of story out of the way. And also we got a good deal of tutorial. So now I feel like you guys know more about this game. And you guys won't be confused by as much stuff. Also, I'm, I'm actually proud of myself for explaining this. So I think I'll actually end it here. Sorry. Also, it's nighttime. However, we have a remedy for that, and I don't want it to be nighttime just yet, so... Just draw the sun. And, or draw the sun. Drop the sun. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys, but just draw the sun. There we go, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. And next time, in Okami, we'll take... Isun up on his offer to tour, give us a tour around the village, since we've only really met Mr. Orange and Sakuya. We haven't seen Hai nor... what is the term? I don't know. We haven't seen her at all. So, we have only really met one villager. So, next episode, we'll meet more villagers and go around talking to people and get to know the village of Kamiki, which we've spent two episodes in a little bit better. I'll see you guys next time for another... Pal plays Okami. Where the tutorials hopefully... Yeah, actually they will end, I think. So, I'll see you guys next time.